Hey guys! So recently I made a video of a baby giant pacific octopus and now it's time to talk about mama octopus. Giant pacific octopus are the largest species of octopus in the world weighing up to 300 pounds and they have an arm span of 32 feet. There's even a record of one reaching up to 600 pounds but that one's not uh, confirmed. But either way, they're, they're huge. It's kind of hard to get an understanding of how big they really are because they're usually hiding in their den. Just like this massive one beside my friend Viv here. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of happy that this one didn't come out because it was huge. But they do have to come out at some point to feed. So usually they do that at night when the predators are sleeping. Um, so we got really lucky recently. We went on a, a night dive and the octopus actually found us. My friend Cosmo was just minding his own business, looking at fish, when he turned his head to the right and noticed this big octopus was staring right at him. He flashed his light at me to get my attention, so I started swimming towards him to see what was going on, and it took me a few seconds actually to see her because she blended in so well with her surroundings, but once I did, I was just so mesmerized. She was beautiful. She was probably a medium-sized octopus, but still huge and amazing to see. Clearly this octopus had seen divers before and was not afraid of humans because she just kept swimming towards us and wanted to interact with us. I didn't feel too comfortable with that so I just kept backing up and she gave me my space which was really cool. Eventually our friend Clint came along and put his hand near her to see what she would do. Octopus can actually taste with their suckers so they tend to not be too interested by our dry suit gloves. So Clint decided to take off his glove and as you can see here, she was very interested in his bare skin. This skin contact probably helps them understand that we are also living beings. She started off by feeling his hand with just one arm and then got closer and closer and as she got more comfortable, she eventually decided to check out his entire arm. <laughs> Clint decides to move his camera to the side to avoid any damages. Good call. Once she figured out that we weren't food, we weren't predators, and to be honest, we just weren't that interesting, she went off and kept doing her own thing. So we decided to follow her to see what she was up to, and she didn't seem to mind the company. Eventually, she decided she wanted to check out Cosmo. Octopuses are surprisingly strong and can easily rip out a regulator right out of your mouth. So that's why you can see Cosmo here actually holding on to his mouthpiece to avoid a potentially dangerous scenario.
Octopuses are considered to be the smartest of all invertebrates. Some scientists suggest that their intelligence is equivalent to a golden retriever or a three-year-old toddler. They can even recognize faces. I think she was able to remember Clint's face and took a special liking to him because she kept trying to climb up his arm. Here she touches Cosmo with the tip of her arm, but doesn't seem too interested. She started doing this weird thing where she would do a parachute with her body above the rocks, and it took me a while to figure out what she was doing. I could see fish escaping from underneath her, so eventually I realized that she was hunting. Octopuses will eat almost anything they can get their hands on, including fish, scallops, crabs, clams, abalone, and even dogfish. She kept hunting on and off throughout the dive, and it was just incredible to watch. Another quick hello to Clint here. You might have noticed that she's missing part of one of her arms. It kind of looks like a little stubby arm. It was most likely ripped off by a sea lion, but not to worry because it'll grow back. octopus species only live for one year, but giant Pacific octopuses can live up to five years in the wild. Females can lay up to 400,000 eggs and will starve themselves to death in order to protect them until they hatch. This takes about six months and the hatchlings are about the size of a grain of rice. Okay, this is the fourth time that she's checking out Clint. She definitely has a crush on him. Clint tries to push her onto Cosmo, but she just does not want to let go. Again, very important to hold onto your regulator in case the octopus tries to pull it away from your mouth. Okay, she definitely caught something here. Whatever it is, it tries to escape, but she keeps it under her parachute.
Sorry, Cosmo. She's just not that into you, man. You can almost sense a feeling of connection when an octopus looks directly at you with their big eyes. Again, it's very obvious here that she caught something and it's trying to escape. Thankfully, the octopuses in this area are not being actively hunted, so they aren't really scared of divers. Clearly some, like this one, are not scared of divers at all, and genuinely seem to enjoy interacting with us, which is pretty awesome. Giant Pacific octopuses are usually reddish brown, but they can use special pigment cells in their skin to change colors and textures. This allows them to blend in with pretty much any background. I just love their little wrinkly skin. If you look at the right side of the screen, you will see her grab something with her arm and bring it towards her mouth. Okay guys, this is the fifth time that she latches on to Clint. And this time he had his light on when she decided to hop on, so you can kind of see through her skin, which is pretty cool. At this point, Clint's starting to get pretty cold, so it's time to say goodbye. One last hug before he goes. And again, she is still not interested in Cosmo. Sorry, bud. So Cosmo finally decides to take off his glove and she beautifully caresses his hand with so much tenderness. What a cutie. Thanks for the amazing dive, my octopus friend. I hope we will meet again someday.